Okay, guys, this is uh, Rick Jokans, BMW M1 race winner of the Group 5 race we have. I believe this was built by Walter Baines of Jab Racing. Those two together, they have the Jab Racing. Uh, and we're going to open up and dissect this beast. All right, guys, another Rick Jokan car. Uh, the guys in a row. Another record breaker, track record holder. This is the Group 5 uh, BMW M1 from Racer Sideways. Racer Sideways is the only uh, brand allowed on this class. So this is the BMW M1. This is my favorite uh, car of the series. They have the BMW 320. They have the Lancia Beta Monte Carlo. They have the Ferrari 512. Uh, the Lancia Stratus. A bunch of nice Group 5s over there. Now the new Nissan Skyline. Um, there is a Toyota, a Celica. This is the, it's a great, great series. A lot of liveries, a lot of models. But uh, this, the BMW M1, it is my favorite car. Uh, I've been racing with a JPS livery one at uh, Far Out Club for over three years. That's my favorite car uh, that I race at the club. So uh, you can go wrong with the BMWs. So let's open up. The car is, as we finish the race, we still have the lane sticker. Um, BMW M1, uh, all original. You can only uh, use original racer sideways parts besides the guide and the tires and the axles and the bushings. Oh, well, not only so, but basically the car is a racer sideways on its core. Uh, as you can see here, we have a lot of body movements. There's like two or three millimeters in the back, two or three in the front. The car sits very, very low. Um, as you can see here, very much, much lower on the sides. It's almost touching the track. And in the back, or here on the sides. And in the back, again, very, very low. Um, as you can see, the body moves with the chassis. That's because the pod on this car is not lockdowns there's a little distance over there we're gonna go over that in a bit um so the down part here uh there is a weight uh, sp23 slotted weight which is allowed only one of this class you cannot put weight one in any other place just this bar here and he's using it uh he's using a slotting plus guide made for slotted cars that serve here on the racer sideways chassis racer sideways they basically they start it, their life using slotted parts so even now they're doing their own parts most of the slotted parts fit very well here so you can see a flat 6 21.5 k motor from slotted which is the car the motor that comes originally with these cars and this is the only motor that allowed it so uh again slotting plus slotting vision uh, guide here in front and you have this is the those are the screws that hold the motor pod you have the choices on those cars they stay if you buy one they come with the zero the flat one uh and then you have the choice of minus 0 0.5 and minus one millimeter so you can lower you can make the the, the whole chassis lower to the ground i'm going to check which one he's using here so this is also holding the holder and this is holding the pod. So the, the, the pod screws are those five. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, actually. Uh, also here, you have a choice to put only one um, motor pod holder. But he chose to go with the one with the two. So now we have six uh, screws holding the pod. And the pod movement is not that, high, that, that big. It's almost locked down here. It's almost locked down here, and you're gonna have a little distance here on the on the on the on the back part that you're gonna sh gonna see this better when you take the body off. So let's take the body off. Two screws only, uh, which is a setup that I like. Only one here and only one there, so you can f you the body can flow sideways a little bit more. Um, NSR come a lot of the NSR cars come this way. Uh, all the group C slotted, they come this way. So this seems to be a very fast setup with two screws, one in the body only, right in the middle, front and back. Uh, taking the body off, uh, he's using the sliding plus screw that allows you to have this body movement. You see that there's no tread here, uh, so it gives you some space. So coming back to the car, 
nothing special on the body, all original, original driver, plastic driver. We do not allow Lexan drivers here on our series. Nothing changed, no uh, sensing or anything like that. Everything is here, all the parts. Um, he might have glued. I can see, no, I don't see any signs of glue, but people, think, people tend to glue because they're, they're very noisy. I can see right here, he uh, lost one of the, of the plastic uh, things. So he might need to fix that or he might leave that like that and you have the body movement that he wants. Both of them are out. So this might, this might bring him some, some body movement in here. Some people just glue it and whatever. So going to the car, as you can see, the car sits very low. Uh, the front, the front tires making it, are making the car higher in front than in the back, which is a setup that you gives you more uh, grip. If you have too much grip, you just lower the front of the car. Uh, right now, um, the, the car is sitting on its four wheels. Uh, again, we have the Sliding Plus 21.5K Sliding Plus, no, it's slotted 21.5K motor. Uh, he's using the original wires that came with the car, original wheels, original tires. Uh, of course, he uh, threw the front tires. The front tires are very low. And here in the back, he has uh, one of the winning setups that we have here at the track using NSR's Ultra Grip tires with Formula One wheels and air system wheels, as you can see here. So this is a very nice setup of tires. Um, he has a solid axle, which is probably NSR, with uh, double flanged bearings here in the axle. And the axle has been held for a stopper, which is which actually comes with the car. So there's a slotting uh, racer sideways stopper. Uh, let's go to see the gear ratio. It's probably a 13. Also, again, like he used on his can card, it's a slotting plus. Um, is loading plus, plus uh, gear and sp uh, spur, spur gear and the uh, pinion. And the pinion is also the removable one, just like he had on the Canyon car. Very interesting. Uh, let me try to disassemble this very quickly. Uh, not only to piss him off, but to check <laughs> which, um, which motor pod he's using, especially the distance. Usually it says here, uh, it says here on the side, but in this case, it's on the other side. So let me try to remove this uh, collar here. Uh, push it out and let's try to remove the gear. The gear is not coming out. So we're gonna have to remove this, lose this set screw. And now we have it. So it's out here. And the motor pod, Ish, I can see from here. Okay, sorry, Rick, that's, that's happening. Let's cut it off and I'm gonna bring up some more tools and take this guy out. So let me try to take this off a little bit. Maybe we don't need to take this whole thing out. And you can see from here, yes. Oh, okay. So this is the zero zero. So this is the original motor pod that comes with the car. He didn't even bother to put the minus 0.5 or minus one. Uh, of course, the size of your tires, you can make the car lower. Uh, so does it doesn't really matter. Uh, and another thing is when you are lowering this, uh, you're not in the center of the gear anymore. So it's literally, it's literally going back and forth. So he might, I don't know if he tested it or not, but he might found that the original zero zero was the one to go. Uh, yeah. So this is a pretty basic setup. Uh, of course he probably tried several things, but, uh, there's only one uh weight in the back which is the only one uh, that you can use on this class is slotting plus gears uh nsr ultra grips with formula one uh wheels on the 13 size which is very low doesn't look very good on this car but seems to work uh you have a little collar here that comes with the car and you have the other wheel which is right here um there we go. And here you have the race winner and record holder um, car for the Group 5 Series. Rick Jokan's car. Thank you very much, Rick, for letting me uh, show your setup. And I hope you could learn something from him and make your car fast again. And make your car uh, fast too.
So thank you very much.